That's what I love about Eric. He is an old soul. I just think because of the way his childhood was, he had to grow up quickly. I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware. Typical, usual city filled with violence, crime, poverty. I mean, you can imagine just what it's like trying to get yourself out of that situation when that's kind of all you see. There's not many positive outlets I had to help me growing up. I didn't have a big brother or a father figure. So I kind of had to learn a lot fast and on my own. It was just me and him. A single parent, I had Eric at the age of 18, so we both had to depend on each other. He had to take on bigger responsibilities at a young age because I needed his help. Basketball was always a joy that I kind of had, and it was an outlet for me to get away from all the negative things that surrounded me. Whenever I played basketball, that was when I felt the safest, you know, whether it was, um, at the park or even on a little hoop on my door. Those are kind of the safest moments for me playing basketball. Eric had took the ball with him every day to school. And before the bus came, Eric would like shoot around, you know, at the court before he got on the bus. That was early in the morning, so that was a great opportunity for him to get some shots in. Basketball has definitely been a lifesaver for me. Especially where I'm from, people just trying to find a way out. For me, I always knew that, you know, it was something better for me. Um, you know, basketball gave me an opportunity to travel the world and see what else was out there. It kind of motivated me to keep going and keep pursuing basketball. This is definitely an opportunity for me to help me and my family. That's kind of one of the jumps I made from, you know, basketball just being fun to, you know, this is a kind of like, a, I'm approaching it like a business. You know, everything I do, I'm, you know, doing it for a bigger picture. At the age of 16, he actually came to me and said, Mom, I think it's time for me to go. And I'm like, time for you to go? He said, yes. You know, a lot of, you know, my friends around here are not making, you know, great decisions. And in order for me to do the right thing and better my future, I have to go. So I was like, okay, Eric. And that's when he went to Putnam Science, Connecticut, five hours away from here. For me to achieve what I wanted to achieve, I had to put basketball first. And I felt going out of state would give me a better opportunity. Eric had went to school to Putnam Science. I remember the day, drop him off at school, get him settled, and you know, driving back home. And I remember putting the car in park. And I had a moment, literally, like I had a moment, a sad moment. And it took me a second before I got out and I realized that I have to go in this house by myself. Eric's not here. And it always been Eric and I forever in the house alone, us two. He's my buddy. And it was hard for a while for Eric and I. We both struggled with the change because it was different for both of us. He would call and wanted to come home. And I said, okay, well, I always taught you, what you start, you have to finish. So you have to finish it. I always cherish that experience because no matter what I go through, you know, that was the first time I faced adversity going to that school in Connecticut. Well, I feel like I recruited Eric for like 10 years. We got on him early. But I just remember the first time he came to visit with his mom, you could tell there was a special relationship there. And we talked at the time about the neighborhood he grew up in, and she was very protective of him. But I also knew that he was going to stay close to his mom. That was the number one thing for me, going through what I went through at Putnam, just being away for so long. My mom was finally able to be able to come to watch me play. Eric Ayala, little one-hand hammer. When I was away for school and at Putnam, 
It's different when you finish a game and you don't have no support system. Not being able to get a hug from a family member, or being able to go out hang with your friends, it's kind of, you go from the basketball game straight to your room. Going to Maryland, no matter how the game go, win, lose, if I play good or play bad, my mom is right there. Been a lot of great point guards over the years at Maryland. He understands that. With Anthony leaving, and he was carrying a big load for us the last few years. It was definitely a, a bigger responsibility on my end. He's unique, he's different. He might not be as fast and athletic as some of them, but he's a scorer. Fading fall away shot for the junior, Eric Ayala. I feel like my role was beyond just trying to score, and with Anthony going, it's more pressure to win. You know, I take pride in trying to win more games. Going down there and seeing him makes me proud, a proud mom. You know? My mom is everything. As I'm getting older every day, I find out more and more about her that I'm just like her. It's just a blessing to have somebody like that to support you in everything you do.